probably going to edit all this out. That's okay, you may have to spoon it. Oh, you got it. I'll spoon it all right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here in Las Vegas, we and we're going to do something fun today. We are, we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's one of our fan favorites. In yes. fact, it's America's favorite. Yes. Breakfast burritos. Yes, everybody always covers tacos. But what happened to the good old breakfast burrito? Yeah, right, baby? yeah mm -hmm. I love breakfast burritos. Yeah, they're delicious. Yes. So we're going to tackle three different type of breakfast burritos you can get here in Vegas. You know, they're completely affordable. They're usually giant, so they're definitely shareable. And we have Leslie here to share it with us. Not here with us. She's back at the hotel. But she's going to finish, help us finish all of these burritos. Because, again, we're getting three of them. Yes, they're going to be very filling. Yes. And we are here at Kono's. Yes. North Shore. Yes. Uh, we went to the North Shore in on the island of Oahu and tried the original location. We did. We loved it. Yes. And they have two locations here in Vegas. Yes, they do. They do. So we're gonna we're here off of Spring Mountain, and we're gonna go try this one out. Okay. This is a big location, very new over here. I'm not sure how long this location's been open, but it is literally maybe. 10 times bigger than the original North Shore location. The Chun's Bomber okay. with uh, the extra jalapeno sour cream avocado. The bombers are the burritos, so all bombers come with eggs, potatoes, and cheese, and then you can decide what you want inside. And the add-ons, you gotta get the add-ons. Uh, we got the add-ons. So with the add-ons, it's a pretty expensive burrito, but you'll see how big this one is. Yes, and we did get the chuns, right? Chuns, yeah, that's the most popular. Cake. Yes. We are at this location here. That's the one in Chinatown. They have the location on Washington, which is a bigger location than this one, which has room for like event space and everything like that, which is really cool. Here is the menu. Here's the other side of the menu. It's pretty yeah. extensive. Yes, yeah, a lot of items here. It opens at 7 a.m., which is very early. Good time to get your breakfast burrito before you go to work. And it has a lot of merchandise here. So you, there's shirts, there's, there's sauces, um, there are hot sauces, and even mugs here that you can cut and grab. This is the breakfast burrito with the Ada jalapeno sour cream and avocado. You can see the avocado in there, the jalapeno in there. That looks absolutely delicious. Again, the burritos come with the potato, the egg, and the bacon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And that he, looks good. He, he cut in half for us, too. He did. He did. And we got, again, the chuns, which is a 12-hour um, roasted, Kahlua, roasted pork. Kahlua pork. Right, baby? Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This looks really good. This burrito is nice and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. The first thing that comes out in this burrito is that flue of pork, a 12 hour flue of pork, and you can really taste the jalapeno flavor. The jalapeno flavor, not the spice, the jalapeno flavor. This is delicious. That pork is so nice and juicy, very, succulent in that 12 hour roast before let's go ahead and get the egg side that egg is so nicely cooked not overcooked at all but cooked enough so it's not wet this is absolutely delicious and look at i have awesome burrito juice look at the size of this this is huge i'm a big fan of breakfast burritos you know, it, it kind of reminds me of like when I used to go in my old job uh, a long time ago, many years ago, food truck used to come and they had all different kind of breakfast burritos and we only had 10 minutes break time. So we had to scarf it down real fast. But this one is something you could take your time and enjoy all the flavors of this Kahlua pork. This looks delicious. Here we go. Going for a big bite. This does bring me back to the North Shore. It's very consistent to what we had over there. It is delicious. 
like you mentioned, what really comes out is that Kahlua pork. And they give you some salsa on the side, as well as these hot sauces that you can see right here. This one looks really good, the mango pineapple hot sauce. But I think we're just gonna stick with the salsa that they gave. Put a little bit on here. There we go. Here we go. This is a very good tasting salsa. Nice and cold. It's not too spicy at all. It matches perfectly with that egg. But really, the star is that Kahlua. Let me put some of that more salsa right there with that avocado sour cream and Kahlua pork is. This is gonna be one of the best bites. I know we have two more places to go, but it is very difficult not to finish this burrito. It is that good. Just look at that Kahlua pork right here. Now tell me, can you say no to that bite? We're gonna to have to stop right here, babe. We're gonna to have to stop because yeah. we have two more places yeah. to go. We're gonna get these wrapped up to go, move on to location number two. But let's do 11. Mm -hmm. Where are we off to for stop number two, babe? Gerardo's Taco Stand? Uh, Geraldo's Tacos. Tacos. Yeah, it's yeah. about seven miles away from Kono's. Yes. And we're heading east, like uh, east of the Strip. Yes. What's with all of these air fresheners, babe? You know, I'm just a material girl in the material world. They keep me company. Oh, that's when you're driving alone? Yes. Yes. We made it to Geraldo's Tacos. Yes, we're way off of the beaten path, but of course, you know, we got to try it. We're almost at the edge of town. Look, <laughs> somebody from MGM uh, res Resort, right? Yeah. Said, hey, I want some uh, Geraldo's Tacos. Yeah. They came all the way here. Yeah, just to get their tacos, maybe. Yeah, so or might, maybe their breakfast burritos. Could be. Since we're doing breakfast burritos, maybe they came here for their breakfast burritos. There it is. So we're going to go jump in there yes. and get one of my favorite breakfast burritos. Yes. Let's go. Mm -hmm. That's a cool oh, looking place right here, is. right? This has really got the Mexican food vibes going on oh, right yeah. here. Everything looks good, but we are on a mission. We have to stick to the plan, babe. Yeah. Uh, chorizo. That's it. Here are your breakfast burrito choices. And they're all $7.99, except for the asada at $9.99. Look at these. I remember going to our ice cream trucks really back in the day, and they used to do that for you. Oh yeah, this is where they open up the uh, bag of chips uh -huh. and put a bunch of stuff in it yeah. too. Yeah, put a bunch of sauces and everything. Yeah, look in at there. that one. Oh yeah. Look over bag, there. And their bags are triple like humongous here. Oh yeah, they're very, very big. But look yeah. at the uh, the champurado. Don't you like that? Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. And uh, oh, it says only, only in this December. Only on December. Yeah, the corner and cup. Yeah. Churros. churros. Stuffed churros. Man, they got all the good stuff here, right? And and watermelon agua fresca. And even in the window, it says they even have pozole and menudo. It's like my favorites. Our breakfast burrito came. Look at the size of this. It is hot. It's hard to hold even through the spoil. That heat is just what, coming right through. This is about... 11 inches long or so yeah I'm kind of guessing 10 mm -hmm. 11 inches long yeah and look at that give give a little bit of chips and some refried beans they get with some green salsa here three of them wow let's unravel this and see what it looks like oh, this is like christmas morning There we go. It is double wrapped. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Man, this is a grande burrito. That's, I think it's one of the biggest breakfast burritos I've seen. It is extremely hot, so we're gonna give it a minute so I can at least hold it. We're gonna cut into this burrito now. Here we go. Let me saw this in half and see what we're working with are you ready oh wow look wow, at that look at that it is filled with diced potatoes cheese chorizo 
Uh, onions. This is a picture-worthy one, baby. We gotta hold on a minute so we can take is. a picture. Yeah, stand by. First thing is that smell of that chorizo. It smells delicious. And honestly, when I first looked at it, I go, hey, this looks like chashu. But it's not, it's, yeah. ch it's chorizo. Mm -hmm. So let me put half of this down. You know I have to go in for that bite for that cheese right there and the potato and the chorizo. It literally has been sitting here for about five minutes and I could barely hold it still. It's that hot. But here we go, we're gonna go in for that big first bite. This is a great chorizo burrito. It is not spicy. So those that are kind of afraid the chorizo might be a little too spicy for you, not this one. Great balance with the potato and the cheese. They give you that side of that green uh, salsa right here. So let me put a little bit of that on. Oh, look at that. Tell me, does that look like a good bite? It does. It does, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh yeah, that bite with that green salsa, that's the way to do it. Look at how much chorizo they give you. They did not go cheap on it. It is packed with all the ingredients in here. They all work together. I love that addition of that onion. Gives it that nice pop. Yeah, this is great. One of my favorites, a chorizo breakfast burrito. Look at that. It is still hot as you were saying, babe. That is a delicious looking burrito. They didn't skimp on the meat at all. I'm ready to go take my bite. Mm. Temperature wise, this burrito is extremely hot still. You gotta take little bites so you don't burn yourself. That chorizo is delicious. That good seasonings in that chorizo just comes out with the mixture of the egg and the cheese in there that is absolutely stunning i'm going to go ahead and hit it up with some of this green salsa oh yeah look at that i can drink this green salsa because it's not spicy at all let's go ahead let's try this one out the fluffiness and the softness of that potato matches so well with this egg and that chorizo and the cheese wow this is a delicious breakfast burrito you know what i'm interested in is how that carne asada breakfast burrito mm -hmm. would taste we're a fan of carne asada mm -hmm. too but we had to get the chorizo on this time this one's a good one yeah here are the other locations right here they're all uh they're all inside vegas so yeah this was the closest one to where we were from konos yes and look, babe, this is your favorite right here, that yeah, menudo, menudo and the pozole, pozole. right? Oh, I have yeah. some delicious stuff here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So now we are going to do a little bit of shopping. Yes. And then we're going to go hit up our third and final place. Yes. We made it to our third and final location. We did. We are in Town Center mm -hmm. for broken yolk yes it is very popular yes lots of people here this is during the weekday too and you have to join the yelp wait list yes. uh, that's the way that they do it here and it's about 15 20 minutes they said mm -hmm. and uh, it's a full service restaurant yes and we're later in the day it only opens until 2 and now it's about what one o'clock that's well, 11 30 right now yeah and a lot of people yeah. waiting yes so we can't wait to get inside and get our last breakfast burrito yes. on we got seated at the bar, but it's still waitlisted, so it's not first come, first serve. It's a pretty good sized place, too. I can see why this is a popular place. They have so much on their menu. And everything on their menu looks delicious. It does. Look at that. Uh, south of the border skillets, French toast, pancakes, omelets. They have it all. But you know why we're here. We are getting the Cali breakfast burrito and the fiesta burrito we're only going to get the cali one but we said hey let's uh, live it up right so we got two and this happens to be a favorite the little symbol means it's a uh, broken yolk favorite so we just placed our order two breakfast burritos coming right up check this out i got the cali breakfast burrito yes this is a burrito that plays 
homage to San Diego's famous California burrito. It does not have fries, but it has home fries in it with applewood smoked bacon, cheese, uh, what onion, of course that fluffy egg. This is a good size. They even have to put a little toothpick in here to keep this thing from falling apart. Look, look at this. Look at the size of this. Right? It's huge. Uh, they have some fresh, uh, what is this, uh, like salsa. not salsa, but uh, pico, de gallo. pico de gallo on the side right here. So I'm going to put a little bit on top. There we go. Does that look like a good first bite? I think so too. This is a delicious Cali burrito. Oh my gosh, the first thing that comes through is that applewood smoked bacon. I forgot to mention, fresh avocados. Egg is nice and fluffy, and I love that pico de gallo. Adds that extra bit of freshness to it. This is a delicious burrito for sure. I could see why this place is so popular. Because they nail it on the breakfast item. This is delicious. I got the Fiesta burrito. Giant burrito. Definitely shareable here. We're going to go ahead. This is shredded beef, cheese, nice tortilla here. Let's go ahead. You can see the pico de gallo and the avocado right on top. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see, what is the filling on this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It looks like shredded beef. Absolutely delicious. Packed. You can tell it's packed full of flavor. I haven't tasted it yet, but you can kind of tell. It's going to be packed full of flavor. This aroma that you get with this, it is hot. The aroma that you get with this just will set you back. Again, this has shredded beef in it, has onions, tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, and it has some salsa verde. Pico de gallo on top, sour cream, also the um, the queso fresco. Gonna get that bite here. Make sure it's all sauced up, and let's go ahead and take this bite. Delicious. So I gotta say that shredded beef is cooked to perfection. The sauce is not spicy, but gives that little bit of nice little kind of tart kick to everything else you can taste the love that's put into that meat into that beef right there this is absolutely delicious and as you can tell it's very shareable oh yeah oh yeah yeah these guys are just kicking butt in the kitchen over here yeah. they are cooking up a storm like non-stop there oh yeah but yeah that looks delicious oh wow. yeah I guess you can see why it is a fan favorite. It yeah. is. Mm. Pop notch. Get that spoon of that fresh done pico de gallo right here. Get a little bit of beans. There you go. That's Put the, that's right the pro tip right there. Okay. You got it. There we go. Got bacon. It is cooked to perfection. It is nice, crunchy, and it's in a thicker portion of bacon, so it's not like a floppy bacon. The beans match so perfectly with that apple will smoke bacon, and the freshness of the pico de gallo this brings this Cali burrito to a whole nother level. Good thing this one isn't a showdown. We're just highlighting okay. breakfast burritos. No, it's not. We're just like highlighting breakfast burritos. All of them were so delicious today. Oh gosh. You almost want to do like a, a breakfast burrito tour when you're in Vegas next time. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. Delicious. I'm excited to try this. I'm a big fan of wet burritos. And this is a wet burrito with that shredded beef. I love that they put slices of fresh avocado on top. I got my perfect bite together. Let's go for this. Like you mentioned, it's a good thing this is not a breakfast burrito shootout because you know who would win. 
you know which balloon I would like. This will blow you away. That beef is so tender and so much flavor. That egg perfectly balances out the richness of that beef. This is the perfect burrito here. If you're a fan of shredded beef and you don't mind having it wet like this, this is a must order. I guarantee you, or we guarantee you, that you will love this burrito. And with both of these burritos, there's no spice. Yeah, no, no, so, there is not. Yeah, so you can add on your own spice right here. Oh yeah. But there's no spice. No spice. Mm -hmm. These are delicious. Yeah. That's a wrap from the Broken Yolk. Yeah, it is delicious. You know, this place has so much food. We really want to come back and actually highlight the place. So I think we're going to do that in our future trip. Okay? Yeah, we will. Some yeah. of that, uh, in fact, all of the items that we looked on the menu looked amazing and delicious. Delicious, delicious, right. delicious from their sweets to their savories to their burritos. We're going to definitely come back and highlight this one oh, because oh yeah. we know that our Ohana would love this place. For sure. Uh, yeah. they, our two helpers, so Stephanie yeah. and Marco. And Marco. Yeah, top-notch service. Yes, uh, yes. And keep in mind that there always is a wait. Yes. Except right now, it, it doesn't look like there's no yes, wait now. Yes, but it's like, I think they're opening only until about 2 or 3 o'clock, so yeah. they're kind of a breakfast, brunch, Early lunch morning. type place. But mm -hmm. they do have uh, to-go orders, so you could call yes. and get your to-go. Yes. Yeah, so I hope you like this tour of our breakfast burritos. Of course, there's many more. Yes, A ton more. Mm -hmm. But we just highlighted three that I found on Yelp. And of course, Kono's is from Hawaii, so yes. we have to highlight that one. Yes. So, uh, yeah, if you have a favorite breakfast burrito place, put it in the comments below mm -hmm. over yes. here. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see what it is. Yes. Uh, do we have yes. any shout outs? Uh, we do. We have a lot. Um, happy birthday to the following people Scott, Ernestine, Patty, Kendrick, Nick, Brandon, Dwayne, Lori, Jamin, and Marianne. Happy birthday to everyone. Happy birthday. Uh, Kale and Michelle, happy anniversary. Uh, Debbie and Mike, happy anniversary. And Austin and Sunny, happy anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary and happy yeah. birthday to everybody. And thank you so much for everyone to, that said hi to us when we checked in at the Orleans. Right. We're walking around. Yeah. Thank you so much. Again, come up at any time. We'll go ahead to take okay, pictures or anything like that. Of course, okay. yeah. We always love our fans, right? Yes, yes. Yes. So we are here for just the remainder of tonight. We're leaving tomorrow. Yes. And we'll have another video planned. So stay yes. tuned for that one. Yeah. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.